We're Barbaro. Um, we are based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, we've been playing music for the past seven-ish years. And uh, yeah, we're excited to be here. I grew up um, in Cedarburg, went to the public schools, um, was in the choir department, or was in choirs uh, from, <laughs> from middle school on. The bands that would come through the CPAC would always do some sort of um, workshop or, or thing like that. So um, when uh, they reached out to us, seeing if we'd come back, we were like, "Yeah, but uh, we'd really like to do a workshop too." So we're gonna we're gonna play um, an original tune uh, that Rachel's gonna sing. Um, it's called uh, "Subtle Hints," um, and I think it's a nice little intro into how we maybe use these um, acoustic instruments in maybe a less traditional manner. kind of float this out there here at the start too. I don't know if there's any um, musicians here that are comfortable improvising um, or have their instrument with them. Um, if you do and you're comfortable with it, feel free to kind of like reach out because we're going to ask you later if anybody wants to play. Um, and so we'll do like a, a nice kind of um, simple folksy tune that um, that that you know Hopefully it's, you guys can keep up. It's easy to catch on to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did you make like a name for yourself? Uh, that's a good question. Um, and it's a never ending battle. Um, I think playing out is a big part of it. Um, because the more you play out, especially within your community or the city you're living in, um, the more people are going to hear you, but then the more musicians you're going to meet. Um, so, and, and through other musicians, you can get other gigs or you can, you know, you meet other bands and maybe they'll bring you on to play with them on a show. Um, and so that's a, that's a big part of it, I think, is just really getting to know the community. Playing out and having people organically who are interested in your music come and find you and start to kind of follow you uh, is uh, one of the ways that it works, you know, for people who are interested in like either classical or jazz, you know, those are more uh, institutionalized genres. So going to school and, you know, really being engaged in your school community is uh, really important in uh, getting, uh, you know, incorporated into that genre. I mean, the internet is good and also evil, but and anybody can put their stuff out there, which is wonderful, but it also means there's a lot to, to get through. Um, so I think just find, trusting yourself and your unique interests and your unique voice to do something that's like a little bit different than what everyone else is doing. And th that could mean a lot of different things. It could mean your style's a little different. It could mean you just 
really master your instrument, you can just like play better than anyone else in the world, or it might mean you play in a really unique way. Even if you're not the best in the world at what you do, just knowing everyone's different and everyone has something special to share and tapping into, okay, well, what do I have to offer that maybe is a little bit different than what everyone else is doing? I work a lot with uh, students, a teaching base, and I always think that it's like you can kind of hear the music that everybody's trying to do, but it's always very timid at first. So it's like just getting comfortable with like the voice that you do have um, and stepping out there and, and trusting that over time you'll, you'll build the confidence and it'll become stronger so that you, you know, um, you know, can keep doing it for the long term. Yeah, yeah. Play drums, so would it be fine if I just went back on that? Yeah, play yeah. some drums. Um, yeah, absolutely. Just come on up. If you want to do it, just c come on up here. Yeah. Uh, it's called Pancake and a Bad Idea. Uh, one, two, one, two. I used to always like to come to these things because I'd get out of other classes for it. Um, so yeah, thanks a bunch. Uh, appreciate it. We're Barbara. Hopefully we'll see you again tonight.